All right, so we're here with the inquiry of the last episode. Well, not really last episode. I would do one for the Santa. Yeah, I'll do one for the Santa one, but for right now, <clears throat> we're here with Void Trap. So, <clears throat> if you missed my actual review, Void Trap personally is one that's like, it was good. It was decent. Yeah, it had a decent start at least. They evolved Ollie's mom. Are you fucking kidding me? It's like, so you're telling me that your guys can do the disguise thing like you did before, you know, to get freaking Adrian back. It's like, you you couldn't do that, huh? You couldn't do that again? It's like, I would prefer you had done that again. And be like, you know, just have her talking. And then she's like, yeah, my assistant has it. And then. Who knows, Izzy or Amelia would be dressed as someone else, and they'll be walking, and then it's like, oh, and it's like, at least the good news is that they'll take Amelia, and then in that case, hmm, how did that play out? Oh, yeah, they put her in the vortex. So that means that technically, they wouldn't really know for sure what they'll be doing, but it would be kind of interesting if they actually had a good plan to it, and we don't know how the keys work, so... I think technically, if it was a ranger who went with them and got sent to the vortex, the ranger would have been able to get out of it because, well, um, cosmic dino key. Just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it, it seems kind of like it was a horrible plan. I'm sorry, but it was a horrible plan to involve Ollie's mom. It's like, oh, well, the lesson is that your moms are very, very capable of themselves. Yes, but you still put her in harm's damn ass way. She was trapped in the incantation's freaking dark dimension. And <laughs> it's like, yeah, but then she came back. It's like, yeah, I'm going to put myself in harm's way even more to hit Void Knight. And it's like, Void Knight could have most likely killed you. And again, this gets to the point where it's like, okay, well, hold on. And of course, Ollie is not really keeping it together at all. It's like you're blowing your identity, like extremely blowing your identity. So that's for what's going on with the whole thing of, okay, let's, let's attack the canister. Let's attack the capsule. It's like, I know you guys know he's evil. I know you guys actually believe he's truly evil, but... There's no way that no one was like, what the hell is in this capsule in the first place? Some damn monster is revealed. like, oh my gosh, it's a person. It's like, yeah, and you all are attacking. Well, technically, no, it was just Ollie's mom who started the attack. Then Izzy freaking finished the job. <laughs> it's like, damn, Izzy, I thought you did like the girls. And you just almost killed what? Well, technically, they did kill they technically did kill. They don't know if Void Knight actually is humanoid or not. But he seems humanoid. The person in the capsule is humanoid. So you just technically killed two humans. And it's like, damn. And they have, it's like, they won't know. The sad part is like, they will never know. They will never know that they actually killed another human. They will never know because for some reason, they didn't look and see what was inside of the capsule before they harmed it. Thank goodness it wasn't a kid because that would have been a whole lot worse. Yeah, it was a whole lot worse. Just like Zika. Yep. What if the Magnet Defender did his shit? <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, Zika! You know, Zika's in the capsule. He's trying to revive Zika, and here you go. And the freaking capsule exploded. Oh my gosh, you killed a child. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, it's like, did you all think? Did you even think about this? It's like, yeah, it's like, I had to do a double take, but like, wait, well, 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 because it's like, okay, hold on. It's like, She's in the capsule, and then I first viewing, and it's like, no, she's not. She's not in the capsule. It's transferring to the capsule that's far away. And then the second take is like, oh, okay, she is in there. And it's like, then y'all guys just killed an innocent bystander who got hurt somehow. <laughs> it's like, yeah, um, 
that doesn't look good. <laughs> it's like, I'm shocked that children don't have questions. It's like, I'm shocked that the children don't have any questions. I might have to watch it what the others said about their free review on this. Because it's like, yeah, it seems to me everyone is freaking just jumping over this fact of where it's like, they allegedly kill two people. It's like, yeah, I understand that they don't know. But it's like, yeah, but we know. But we know. <laughs> and it makes it like, oh, that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> it does not look good at all. So all these are good news is that they are alive. And, well, apparently Ollie thought the good idea was to destroy the statues. Thus, mending their connection to the morphing grid, which... Apparently, you didn't calculate the fact of not connecting to the Morpha Grid means that you're not going to become Rangers. And, well, Ollie's mom knows all their identities now. And it's kind of interesting listening and being like, so you kids? And it's like, oh, so they're still technically ranked as kids. I mean, well, from her range to her, from Ollie's, like, yeah, it's like, okay, well, you see them still as a child, but still, they all have jobs. Except for Izzy. Yeah, Izzy's the only one that technically should be considered a freaking kid. Everyone else has a job. We don't know what Zato's doing. <laughs> As for Ion, we could say that he most likely even got a job as a freaking ice cream dude. It's like, it, it makes sense. It's like, yeah. It's like, it makes sense to actually be a part of it. And he's like, okay, well, I'm going to train you how to be ice cream. Because he's interested in ice cream, so why the frick not? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. It's like Zado and Slither. It's like it's kind of the messed up part where it's like we don't know where they're working at. Because there's no way how he can just get clothes out of nowhere. And he was able to pin up money for um Javi's second keyboard. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, thanks a lot, Dad. You're a jerk ass. And the dad's a complete jerk being like it's like, no, we gotta oh wait, sorry, I can do that in the next inquiry because I can't do it now because I'll be jumping to show how much of a dad's kind of a jerk ass. <laughs> and you guys didn't even spring even more money for him? Oh that sucks. <laughs> Anyways as for how it did in the ratings, it made a point to three so it went from 20 last week to 23 that's not bad it's like yeah that's not bad it just sucks that you know it didn't get that momentum started already <clears throat> so it's not that bad we'll see how the christmas episode happens and i'm sorry to be a jerk but it's like dude the christmas episode better better top the charts it better top it it better be number one it better because if you actually watched it on freaking netflix i have to say you're a whore <laughs> it's like i'm sorry to say this but you have to say you're a fucking whore october 15th and you watched a christmas episode you whore <laughs> you whore it's like yes that's right you've been deemed a fucking whore it's like, jeez, what the frick is wrong with you watching a freaking Christmas episode? It's like, you should have waited and watched it on TV. You can stream it later, okay? You can stream it later. It's like, yeah, you can stream it multiple times if you want. But your first showing, should, first viewing of it should actually have been on Nickelodeon. Just saying because, dude, that's out of season. Thank goodness there's no out of season police or there's going to be a lot of people arrested and a lot of freaking stores closed down for like one week because <laughs> it's like yeah out of season police up that ass up that ass <laughs> it's like yeah stores want to actually start doing halloween in august go f yourself nope <clears throat> you want to do christmas in october go f up yourself no <laughs> <laughs> it, it, the freaking thing goes on and on i think they start in december freaking valentine's day up that ass no it's like yeah it's like you know everything that you want to start has to start at the end of the month before it the month starts so the end week of january then you do valentine's day mm, excuse me well, anyways, last to finish this off is 
The writers of it is, of course, Owl Lady. Sorry, mm, Cat Lady and Owl Gent. MT did a teleplay, which is like, oh, MT, you did so good. Oh, 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 wait, never mind. I can't say that. It's in the Christmas one. It's like, yeah, because it's like, it's a current Christmas one where I'm like, I think they just did an error or maybe a meal, um, Izzy rubbed off on Amelia. I don't know which one it is, but yeah, we got to talk about that in the inquiry <clears throat> next time. But still though, man, the still is like, yeah, you kind of killed. <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't, but technically the Rangers themselves. So <clears throat> I know you <clears throat> can't. <clears throat> can I freaking speak? Jeez. Of course, they're not going to be capable of doing it, but I kind of want to see the repercussions of their realizing that, oh, holy fuck. We blew, we blew Void Knight, and we blew the person that's in the capsule. Later on, it's revealed that she was in the capsule and Void Knight's human. I want that. To hit hard on the Rangers. I do want that to hit hard. For like a bit. But of course these writers might not even have that ability. Of let, making it happen. But it's like yeah. I want that to linger. For quite a bit. Of how like. Maybe they can even fight him. Again. Or the even crazier part is that. Oh. His wife slash girlfriend or slash whatever. So they get over or whatever. <clears throat> she turned evil. You have to defeat her, but it's like you almost defeat her once and killed her when she was not even capable of defending herself. Now you really actually have to defeat her. It's like that has to take some toll on the Rangers. That has to take some toll because it's like they have to have a moment where it's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It has to be that moment. Let me try to remember what was it. Oh yeah, yeah. It was Captain America: Civil War, where you had Scarlet Witch, who tried to divert the bomb, and she had put it instead of you know in the air that is not t attaching anywhere. She had it. She actually had it near a building, and the building exploded, and she was devastated by doing that. That's kind of a little bit of the extent that I want the Rangers to feel. Because this is a messed up realization that, oh my gosh, we almost killed two people. And it's like, Void Knight might deserve it a little bit, but they didn't know he was human. She didn't deserve it at all, but yet, here's Izzy doing it. It's like, that's going to have to hit Izzy the most. Being like, you kind of freaking screwed her over. It's like, yeah, you kind of actually going to have to have a moment where it's like, damn, that's, that, that's a lot of things to take in right now. It's like, we didn't know. We didn't know. It's like, yeah, even though you didn't know, you kind of still did it, though. <laughs> you kind of still did it. And no one had the question of who the fuck is in that capsule. I would have preferred to be like looking at me like, oh, so it's a freaking damn monster you freaking doing, you bastard. It's like, no, they look at it just like it's a girl and they, they just can't do it. They just can't freaking sabotage it. They can stop them from actually cutting into the morphing grid and all that crap, but they can't actually sabotage it. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck, man? Anyways, I'll be back in Christmas to talk about the Christmas episode. That sounds good enough. All right, so how did it do in the ratings? Well, the good news is that it did better. A decent amount better. It's actually six from the bottom, so that's good. That's very, very good. The writers of today is Cat Lady and Algent, and Wolfgang, no, Wolfman actually did the teleplay. So that's it. That's basically it. So, hey, that's good, but... Come on, we got, well, not really, because it's like two more episodes now. Just two more episodes. So it's like, yeah, I'm not going to hold my breath, but hey, at least a few more people tune in. Like a few thousand more people turned in, tuned in. So we'll see what happens coming this Saturday as I'm, as this air, as actually this is on. 
and then we'll see what happens next Saturday. Well, since it's like just looking around, it's like, huh? So they don't have the specials anymore like they used to. That means that almost every single episode is pretty in sequence. It's like a pretty good and it's in sequence. We'll just have to see what's going to happen with the Santa one. I don't know. I will watch it since why the frick not, but I will have to say that if it doesn't have anything to do with the story at all, it doesn't move the story along, then I won't actually review it. But if it does actually move the story along, then I will most likely review it because why not? The only thing you're going to see on the last episode, the Christmas episode, is what did it do in the ratings? That's that's the only thing you're going to get. I might actually talk about it a little bit, but more importantly, it will just be ratings talk. So, we'll see what happens next week.